Yo, what up? So listen, I had to come really quickly and weigh in on um, the announcement that SWV and Escape is doing a versus. So anybody who knows me knows that I'm an Escape fan. Like I just, I just, am. I mean, I like SWV. Don't get me wrong, but. I think I like Escape better than SWV. Um, but so Timbaland dropped a article or whatever. And he was saying how, you know, Chris Brown would be Usher in a versus or whatever. And I completely disagree with that. Um, I think that a lot of the newer generation only knows one album by Usher, Confessions. Like Usher has like hits for Usher has hits for days and Confessions number one came out in 2004. Chris Brown came out in 2005. Like I'm a music connoisseur, number one. Number two, prior to Chris Brown coming out, Usher had already dropped four albums. The Usher album that came out in like 94, I think. My Way that came out in 97. 8701 that came out in 01. And Confessions that came out in... 2004 so my boy got hits for days like i'm gonna have to go with usher because i'm not a super huge chris brown fan but just looking at the catalog and like you know the different songs that usher dropped and things like that like that was kind of like the soundtrack of my you know of my teenage years or whatever so i'm definitely gonna go with usher and plus confessions drop in 04 and it sold 1.1 million copies the first week like, come on now. Like, come on. The first week, bro. The first week. 1.1 million copies. The first week. Come on now, man. Y'all ain't gonna y'all not gonna play Usher like that. Y'all ain't gonna play Usher like that. Whether y'all think that his last couple albums that he came out with was mediocre or not, y'all still not gonna discount Usher and you not gonna, you know, discredit him from what for what he added to, you know, music history. Like, bro, get out of here. Like anybody who thinks that Chris Brown is going to be Usher, like, you're an idiot. Like, you're a plum idiot. And, like, you're a plum idiot. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, yeah. If, I, I just feel like Timbaland is just talking because Usher said that he wasn't going to do um, a versus. So, Timbaland is trying to kind of, like, hype it up so that way Usher and Chris Brown can do a versus together. But my thing is, like I said, you know, I'm not a super, super huge Chris Brown fan. He does have, you know, songs that I like or whatever. But, I mean, if like if I had to choose between listening to a Chris Brown album from start to finish or listening to an Usher album from start to finish, I'm going to choose Usher. Because, like I said, I don't really know Chris Brown's songs like that. But, I mean, he seems like he caters more towards the the newer generation and i'm just i'm just not here for it like i'm i'm not like i said chris brown got some he got he got some bangers and he got some songs that i like but if i had to pick i'm gonna pick um usher i'm just gonna pick usher that's just like with the escape versus swv versus um if i have to choose between swv and escape I'm going to choose Escape like I just am because I just feel like Escape, like, along with SWV, both of them, you know, have timeless hits and things like that. But to me, like, you know, not trying to shade, you know, Taj and Lily. Not trying to shade, you know, like I said, not trying to shade Taj and Lily. But we all know Coco is the voice of SWV. Like, and I was looking at some of the comments after the verses was announced. They was like, oh, if SWV plays weak, like, that's going to shut down Escape's whole entire catalog. Like, I, I don't believe that. Like, I mean... Week is like, you know, SWV's biggest song, but I definitely don't think that it's going to shut down the catalog. Like, yeah, SWV has more albums than Escape, but, like, we talking about hits. Like, let's not talk about fan favorites. Let's, let's not talk about the songs on the album that you like that nobody else knows. Let's talk about hits. Like, they both got, like, the same number of hits, like, equally. So... Like, I think that it's going to be a good battle or whatever. But at the same time, like, I think both of them can hold their own. And with Escape, everybody in Escape can sing. Like, everybody has sang lead at some point. Like, I feel like everybody has an SWV too, but nah. 
plus not to mention like coco has like you know solo success or whatever so of course she can drop some of her solo hits just like escape like all of them have solo songs that they can drop like let's look at latasha like latasha was featured on some of the biggest songs thug holiday with trick daddy one night stand with jay shan tamika scott and dropped the whole ep tiny then dropped the whole ep brandy then i mean not brandy candy then had a couple albums like don't think i'm not she had the whole candy coated joint that she had featured on real housewives and she's a hell of a writer she done wrote hits for like some of the biggest people mariah carey pink tlc whitney houston like come on now man don't get me started like y'all already know how i am when it comes to music like don't get me started so so yeah let's let's not be like SWV is gonna kill Escape because they not like Candy could drop some of the songs that she wrote for other people and wipe their whole catalog I'm sure some people are probably like oh you just like Candy that's why you saying that no, like I do I do like Escape <laughs> and Candy is my favorite of Escape like that's no you know no secret or whatever but it's just like, no, nah, y'all trying to like disc discredit them as if like they didn't add anything to music history. Like y'all trying to do my boy Usher, like get out of here. I know. I mean, it's going to be an amazing versus. I think that Escape and um, SWV is kind of like on the caliber of like Brandy and Monica. Like, why do we have to choose? Like, we can like them both. And like I said, I love some Escape songs. I mean, I love some SWV songs and I love, you know, Escape songs too. And I'm that person that listens to songs that are on the album that are not radio hits. So, of course, I'm going to be looking for some of the fan favorites. But no, nah, let's give a, just drop all your hits. Drop all your hits. And you got to do what you got to do to win. Like, you just. So, I said all that to say, like, don't try to put them against each other. Like, I know I was talking about Usher and Chris Brown, and then I had to, I just had to let y'all know about the whole um, SWV and Escape thing. Because people are like, I mean, they really out here think, like, discounting Escape. Like, I can name 10 Escape songs off the top of my head. Like, I mean, I could probably name 10 SWV songs too off the top of my head, but. It's going to be a good versus. Like, why do we always have to put these artists against each other? Why can't we enjoy both of them? Like, because the Brandy and Monica versus was, like, definitely one of my favorites. Because I'm an R&B person all day. So, I've watched it, you know, a few times. And I vibe to both of their songs. Like, everybody knows that I'm Team Monica. But at the end of the day, Brandy got some bangers. Like, I'm not even going to sleep on Brandy and act like Brandy ain't got no bangers. She does. Like, she's... People call her the vocal bible. I don't. It's no shade to Brandy. I just don't call her the vocal bible. Like, I remember um, when we had, like... A bunch of contractors when I worked in membership at Blue Cross. Like, me and this girl on my team, who shall remain nameless, like, we used to always go at it all the time because she was like, whatever, you just like Monica. Like, Monica can't sing. Brandy, is, they don't call her the vocal Bible for nothing. And I'm just like, I mean, she can sing. Again, I don't call her the vocal Bible. Like, I, I, I definitely think that she has an amazing voice. Um, she has one of the richest tones ever like her tone is unmatched like can't, ain't nobody messing with brandy when it comes to tone and her riffs and her runs are some of the her vocal choices are are just out of this world they're just amazing um but you know there are some other people who do the same thing too just like tank like tank is a hell of a a hell of an artist like he got riffs and runs for days too it definitely is like tank like bro <clears throat> tank is like one of my favorite male um artist because he like his vocal choices too are just freaking amazing like i wish you know i could sing like that because i can't sing i'm gonna just be real with y'all i can't i can't sing at all but i think that they're both you know amazing and a lot of times we always feel like everything is a competition and we got to choose who's the best person like nah just enjoy the music bro like that's me like i vibe i vibe to what music i want to vibe to and yeah, I think Versus is, you know, amazing. That's something that um, I, you know, as a music connoisseur, am super grateful that Swiss Beats and Timbaland created because it gives us a chance to appreciate the art of music. Like it just, it just does. And you know, I'm, I can't wait for the Versus. Um, I am having like a little watch party, having a little 
little watch party um with some of my friends or whatever so yeah like i i, I can't wait i'm gonna definitely be celebrating um the music so yeah like i said all that to say like y'all just let these people live like we ain't gotta we don't have to choose one person like we can like them both like i like swb and i like escape like i i i, I like them both now, I probably know more Escape songs than I do SWV, but I mean, I know all their hits and I know, you know, some of their, um, some of their album tracks, like, are my favorite or whatever, but yeah, like, don't try to put them against each other. Now, it's, you know, certain songs that I want them to drop. Like, I definitely want Coco to drop that If This Were With Mine with her and Tyrese, because let me tell you something, that right there, bro, listen. I think I low-key may like that one better than Cheryl and Luther, but listen, like, you know, so yeah, y'all just enjoy the verses because I'm going to enjoy the verses. Um, I know y'all probably looking at my shirt, swag, black on black. No, this is not for sale, but listen, if you want one, hit me up like I could. No, I can hook y'all up real quick or whatever. Um, so yeah, just had to come over here and drop that really quickly. I thought about going live, but... I never go live, so no. Trash. Um, maybe I'll do that one day. I'm strongly considering dropping my um web series that I've been talking about for a long time. So that may be coming soon. And just know when I drop this web series, we definitely gonna have a music segment. So yeah, got some got some crazy ideas for that music segment too. Um so yeah, y'all just enjoy the music, enjoy the arts. Like, um, but I definitely want verses to um, you know, definitely want them to bring some um diversity to it. Like I was telling my brother earlier, you know, it doesn't always have to be um the black music artist. Um, y'all could do something like like another battle that would be super, super crazy that I think people would appreciate, the culture would appreciate, um, is Britney Spears versus Christina Aguilera. Like give us that. Like that was like the new age, like Whitney versus Mariah, um, in my opinion. Like give us, you know, Backstreet Boys versus In Sync. Like give us like a little battle like that. Um I still want them to do Anita Baker versus Sade or Stephanie Mills. Anita probably ain't gonna do it right now because we know she's fighting for her masters. Y'all better not stream her music because Auntie Anita said don't stream it because these people are like ripping her off or whatever. But definitely want to see that. Um, and you know, I have a couple of other ideas for verses that I may just DM them or whatever because I don't want to say them. <laughs> to say them because people might steal my ideas like listen i'm telling y'all this this little brain right here bro i got a lot of a lot of stuff in there um and i think the idea that i have for um verses would be super 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 dope um so yeah yeah 2021 is the year that you know i'm just kind of speaking a bunch of different stuff into existence so um as my brother always tells me you know you gotta manifest the stuff that you want to happen so yeah so i'm i'm gonna manifest that to happen um and hopefully you know y'all will see me a part of something big you know this year um and yeah that's pretty much it y'all want to get this swag shirt y'all let me know like Sweat clothing ink. I'll let you boy. I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm in here working right now um on some shirts that I'm about to drop tomorrow. So yep, that's it, y'all. Peace.